Hey designers, in this quick tutorial I want to show you how to create a button in Figma using outer layout and components with variants. These are Figma basics uh, series and be sure to check out my other videos on my channel. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you didn't do that yet. So let's go designing. First of all, let's talk about what is a bad button and what is a good button. So here are examples of bad buttons. You can see them on my screen right now. And uh, these are bad buttons because here we have uh, really small paddings or we even don't have any paddings on the left and right side. This is really bad. This button looks okay. Well, uh, sort of, <laughs> because it has really large paddings on the left and right. Uh, and sometimes we can see this in the interfaces, especially in responsive design, uh, when we open apps or websites on, for example, uh, on the tablet. Um, but this is uh, maybe like a technical issue, but be sure not to do buttons something like this. Uh, another button is really thin one. This one looks really skinny uh, because it doesn't have good paddings on top and bottom. And this one looks really fat because it has paddings on top and bottom, really big ones. And this one looks really bad. This is uh, basically like a square button, that we, right? And looks um, not, not clean uh, and too big. And this button, I don't also I don't like the way it looks because uh, first of all it has uh, all caps inside. Well, it depends on the design that you're making, so maybe it will look okay in the overall design. But also it has similar and same paddings on all of the sides, on the top and bottom and left and right. So how to make a good looking button? A good button should look something like this. You see where we have paddings. Um, even uh, on the top and bottom and on left and right where the left and right paddings are a little bit larger than the top and bottom ones. Um, you can think of uh, something like this that right paddings, uh, right and left paddings should be one or two and a half times the body text bigger and the top and bottom should be um, 0.5 uh, or one uh, of the body text. So basically uh, here, if we check it out, uh, we can see that um, our text is 16 and the uh, top and bottom paddings are 16 and the left and right paddings are 28. So it looks pretty good. And this is just simple, regular button that will look good in any basic design of your website or your app. Uh, of course, everything depends on the final design and the uh, uh, corporate style and UI that you're building. Uh, but this is just a basic button that you can use and it will look good in any case. Okay, let's create a button. Uh, and I have these assets ready. So I have the icon that we're going to be using and I have the text. So first of all, we need to make an out layout out of these two assets. Forget about using rectangles only out of layout guys and i'll show you why well first of all we need to select two of these things and press shift a now we have an out layout for these two assets and uh we don't see it yet but we have uh the uh, functionality opened already here on the on the right side and we can add paddings and uh, on the left and right and top and bottom now we can add fill to this button so let's add some fill plus and let's select for example this blue and now let's add paddings on left and right so maybe uh, since this is text is uh, 20 let's make it 16 I think it should be a little bit smaller and we add um, vertical paddings 16 and we'll add um, left and right paddings about 24 for example like this it looks really big because of this icon and we can make it a little bit smaller now let's make it smaller like this the 24 is okay and now let's um, change the gap between the um, the icon and the text so sort of like this uh, still it looks kind of big so I want to change it I want to put 8 for the top and bottom and I want to put 16 for left and right now it looks much better um, here this is the important um, difference between using rectangle and the out layout if I change the text here look at what happens to the 
shape of the button you see it changes it changes depending on the text depending on the content inside Be that's because we're using the hug element if we use fixed it will be the same as the rectangle so the background will be fixed and the, the size of the outer layout will be fixed but we're using hug so depending on the text it will be changing okay so this is the first button and let's make another one uh, and this is going to be our hover state uh, so this is default state and we'll be building a hover state so let's uh, hold option or alt on windows and copy this button and now i want to change it and make it for example darker like this and now let's make a new um, um, a new variant of these buttons and i want to have it with the stroke and this one is going to be um, something like we'll add stroke with blue and we'll delete the background like this and let's make a stroke two pixels and now let's change the colors of these um, elements to blue like this and here uh, let's actually copy this button and here let's fill it with color and i want to fill it with blue but i want to make it transparent like so okay so we have already primary button and secondary button and also i want to have another version of the button only with um only with the, this icon actually we can use the the top one i think this one will look better so we just delete the text and you see now we have button something like this okay uh right now we need to make a component for all of these buttons so it will be having only one component one component button and inside we'll be having different variants so what do we need to do first of all we need to select all of them and press command r or Control r on windows and now we'll change the names uh, of these elements to a button like this and now we need to add also a slash and I'll show you why do we need it and we'll click rename and now I will add here uh, my name of the primary button so this is going to be our primary and this is going to be secondary and this is only with Nikon right uh, so uh, actually right now I'm just thinking that we don't need this uh, because we'll can be used we'll be using the boolean uh, property uh, so we can delete these two variants uh, and we only add primary here uh, and this one is going to be also primary but with a different state so this is the type and this is going to be our secondary secondary type let's copy the name and add it here and now let's add slash and here it will be hover this is going to be our state and here we add slash and put hover to and here we add uh, slash and put default i'm sorry here it should be default also and here we add hover like this and now we select all of these buttons and we click on our create component button and we select create component set here you see that now we're having only one button this is the component with different variants uh, and now we'll go to the icon and go to the layer section and here you'll see this little icon create a boolean property we click on it and here we'll see uh, that it suggests a name show button download icon we'll just use it as show icon and now it will be true and here we add the same thing we create a property oh actually we can use the same property show icon and this one will be show icon too and this one will be show icon too and now we add another property to this 
and we'll create a new property show text true and here it will be show text also and here let's add show text in here show text okay now it's ready so let's make a, a frame something like this and let's add our component on this frame so we go to assets and we see our local components here and we just drag it to our frame here is the difference between using components and not using components right because here we have a button which has different variants and now on the right side you'll see that it is primary and it is a default state and has the show icon true and has the show text true for the uh, these um, toggle buttons so if I change to secondary you see it changes right away also I can uh, remove the icon uh, but you see the problem is that when I remove the icon since it's a little bit larger than the text um, the button shrinks we need to fix that and we'll fix it in this way we go to our components uh, we select uh, all of these variants and instead of hug for the height we'll use fixed height and now when we remove the icon using the toggle you see the height is the same and we can remove the text also with this toggle and now we can use secondary and for example uh, default state uh, and i have um, a mistake somewhere in my oh in my yep right here in my names and it should be default okay. spelled it and now it should be okay yep yeah, see default okay uh great so uh now let's add um, some um, some animation to this and we use prototype and add interaction or basically we can just drag our arrow from one uh, button to another and let's use change to instant and we'll change but not on click we'll use while hovering so it will change when we hover with the mouse uh, and here we'll use the same thing and we use while hovering to this instant so when we play uh, this uh, frame uh, i select name of the frame and i press shift spacebar and we'll play it in our prototype we'll see the animation that it changes from one state to another you see i'm changing it with the hover uh, and now let's select the secondary button and when i hover it it also changes you see different uh you, we can make it just a little bit uh, darker uh, let's put like 20 and you see different the difference is now much better uh, also a uh, very important thing about the components that we're uh, using for example we want to copy them uh, we have like different uh, buttons all over our design so we have like multiple pages and uh, buttons everywhere and now we can uh, change them like this for example and this one will be primary and this one will be without the text actually you see that hover also works here also works here and we'll have the primary with the um, with an icon and now um for example that we need to change the corners of these buttons and we need to change how they look and we don't need to change each button uh, and here's the trick that since we're using component we only change them inside the component so we go to our button we go to round corners and we put for example 200 and you see now it changed and the trick is here uh the cool effect that since this one uh, has this variant has the right um straight corners and it will change like this or we can even make it change uh, through change to and not instant we'll use smart animate and it will have this soft soft you know look and looks pretty good and now we can also change it if you want we can change it to uh, round corners and each button has now round corners everywhere you see uh, that's because we're using components 
and everything else works. Guys, I hope now you feel more confident in designing buttons in Figma using outer layout and components with variants. So please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.